Hello everyone, my name is Blaine Pearson and I am a graduate instructor in Texas Tech's Personal Financial Planning Program. In this video, we're going to look at and define what a financial statement is. To begin, let's first take a look at the different kinds of personal financial statements. A balance sheet, or a statement of financial position, is simply a sheet that has all of the client's assets and liabilities listed. We'll review in another video much more detail on a balance sheet. Another type of personal financial statement is a cash flow statement or an income and expenditure statement. Now this statement we'll also review in more detail in a later video. A statement of changes in net worth is just a time series analysis of the client's net worth through time and the changes associated. Now let's take a look at kind of the financial statement organization aspect and why that's important. So we kind of know that financial statements is this generic term used to describe cash flow statements and balance sheets and changes in net worth. So why do we have all of this? And the easiest answer to that question is it is a way that we can take all of the client's information in their life and organize it in a meaningful way so that we can quickly glance and look at, okay, this is how much they have in this asset, this is how much they have in this asset category, et cetera, without having to take a summation every single time. We have a one-stop shop place we can go and take a look at this information. And for those following along in the CFP financial planning process steps, gathering client data is step number two and will frankly be a catalyst to step number three, which is evaluate and analyze financial circumstances and, and the client's financial life. And so when we go through the process of creating these various balance sheets and statements net worth and other financial statements, it is a way that we can analyze the strengths and weaknesses of clients as a result and gives us the ability to do that easily. So. What can these financial statements help you uh, with? Again, they can help you identify uh, the resources that are available to meet clients' goals. It will give you a summation of, a, of the total assets, maybe, in, in the case of a balance sheet. It will give you the expected income of the client or expected cash outflow of the client. So it will tell you the financial resources available, and we can organize that with the client's goals. It'll also help us to determine who owns what or who earns what in the case of a cash flow statement. So is this asset something that both the husband and wife own? Is this something that just the wife owns uh, or, 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 or spouse? Um, and it also helps identify what the client has accomplished financially. Clients really love knowing and hearing you know, how, how are they doing? You know, how do we compare? So it, it's, it's really good to get a situation uh, to say, look, yeah, you've, you've done a really great job, client X. You've, you've been able to gather this amount of net worth. Or you've done a really great job, client B. You have really managed expenses and, and done a great job with that. So it's a really great opportunity for client communication as well. Now, that kind of brings us to our next Point is clients on some ends of the spectrum really love to get into the nitty-gritty really love to get into the granular aspects of it and you have other clients right that just want an abbreviated executive summary of okay what is my net worth you know, it could be as simple as that that some clients want and you have some clients that are visual people they, they really like seeing things in nice pie charts they really like seeing things in, in graphs and you know really aren't as data oriented and so nice graphics can help speak with uh, and communicate this information to clients and that's up to you uh, and your client communication skills to be able to examine from client and the client data gathering process one of the pieces of data you need to gather from this client is okay well how does this client communicate are they visual are they data driven, et cetera? And that will help you in how you present your financial statements and in your client presentations. Now, one last point that I wanna talk about with financial statements is garbage in, garbage out. 
really, you know, the, the amount of work that you put into creating these and the amount of effort that the client puts into and in, in providing the information needed so that you can do your job as a financial planner is, is if that, if what goes into it is not good information, you're not going to get good information out. The better information we have and the more that we have going into it, the better our outcomes will, will be. Again, this is Blaine Pearson, and in this video, we covered and defined what a financial planning statement is. Thank you for watching.